Hello all, D Swank here. I am in Space Engineers and I'm rebuilding the world from the uh, One Life to Live since I hadn't heard anything about it. And uh, also, by doing this, I should also be showing you what mods I'm actually putting in and that's not it. Um, but I'm going to be doing a lot of cutting through this part as I go through my hundreds of mods and decide which ones I'm putting in. So, yes. And if I come across anything worth mentioning, I will. I believe this is one of, yes, this is one of them. Uh, abandoned Settlements. We're going to put you in. Uh, we're not messing with that, not that. All right, <clears throat> so I've got mods kind of thrown in here. I need to move you up. Uh, in general, one of the things that I like to do is I put things that have that affect the base game kind of higher up. So industrial overhaul changes a lot of the progression, changes the ore spawning. So it's the first one. Um, Text HUD API, I believe, is needed for uh, a lot of stuff. So I put it next because it's a dependency. So it loads first. HUD compass, I know, is required. I think, I think the sleeping mod was cut out of the HUD compass. So now they're separate. Um... Rival AI, I think it actually needs to be modular and counter spawner, and then rival AI. Then we'll have the NPC spawning stuff. Uh, plane parts, because they add in the features to allow the plane to actually work. Uh, propellers, because planes without propellers, why? Uh, paint gun. And tethers, I probably should just switch the tethers. Because, and that pretty much is the order of how the important stuff. And then everything else is just blocks. Uh, concrete block. Uh, give me something to do with all the gravel that I get. Uh, shutters and blinds, because I really like it. Raven Bolt Piston Pack, mostly for stability's sake. If I build something like a server breaker, um, we've got these big ass uh, pistons here. Granted, they do flex a little bit. But here's the standard piston. And I could put down like this one. And I think it would be less painful on the machine. So, normally I'd have like 10 of these. But if I just put down one of them, one of these big ones, I think it will be less painful on the machine doing that. I don't know if that's the case, but we'll find out. Alright, now I have the modular airfield runway, another thing to use concrete for, stackable wind turbines. Um, by MA, this is one that a lot of the bits of this I'm not going to be using because this overrides every, all the base stuff and yeah, uh, but it comes with the pole and the light and those are useful to me. And I'll probably end up using these once I get to a point where it's, uh, far enough along. And then we have pole parts, which are just additional parts that can, uh, MA has done for expanding the usefulness of those poles. What's that? Oh, I see how that works. Okay, cool. All right, I have the heavy bridge, which y'all have seen me use fairly often. Admiral Suite, I've used it a fair amount. 
Um, I'm using Xpar's Modular Energy Remastered because I loved the original Xpar. And... It's, it's basically the original Xpar just... modernized and redone and I love this style of reactor and it, it's fun although I wouldn't put a reactor on the front of the ship like that but okay and then you have shows that the textures are good so yeah I'm really liking this uh, design uh, so and it's a holdover for like this was one of the first mods, the original XPAR, Modular Energy, was one of the first mods that I used extensively. So, And then the I'm using Federal Industrial, the three of them. The logistics are interesting. Um, I'll just open all of them up. Let's start with construction. So, just some, like, throw gravel or rocks or whatever um, behind frames. You can build these bridge segments, which is one of the reasons why I'm grabbing it. You've got the, the sand pit. All of it's really nice. I like it. Uh, sand Zen Garden! Ha! Huh. And you've got the shadows underneath it. So, yeah. And I believe these are blocks as well in the background. Like they're framed and held in by these frames. Alright, here's the Federal Industrial Logistics. Just some nice stuff. I really like this part. This part in and of itself justifies downloading the mod. This one's pretty good too. Not as cool as this part. And then these are just some awesome-looking cargo containers. All right, and the last one is the utilities. You have a light, you have a reinforced camera, but you have these rotors, these pass-through rotors, which I think I could do some cool stuff with. So I'm keeping those because I think I could do some cool stuff with. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. I feel fairly solid about this. So, uh, yeah, uh, let's go to uh, world settings and see how I have that set up. All right. So, I have my name, survival, offline, autosave. I'm going to start in a st uh, so start in the star system. There we go. Over in advanced, I haven't messed with this. I'm leaving most of this as default. Uh, leaving that how it is. Normal density. Uh, view distance. Cooldowns disabled. Enable sun rotation, but I'm going to max it out to 24 hour sun rotation. Because that means I'm going to have to have good battery life. Um... I may max it, max this up a little bit. Let's set it at 300. Turn off block limit. Uh, since I'm the only one there, it shouldn't matter. Uh, enable spectator. Yes, that way y'all can get a good camera view. Show player names. Reset permanent death. Eh. If I die at all, it's over. Um, I think I need to turn that off so that the modular stuff works. Uh, leave that how it is. Uh, convert to station, enable jetpack, voxel destruction, enable wolves, remote block removal. Resp enable respawn ships, auto respawn, enable economy, weather systems, bounty contracts, progression. 
Yeah, I'll leave progression on. Enable spides. Unknown signals. Spawn with tools. Enable drones. I think I need to turn drones off, but I'm not 100%. Cargo ships are off. Random encounters. That was the other one I needed to turn off. Okay. So we got the world set up. So we can go ahead and start. All right. Here we are. We get to choose where we're going to start. Previously, I was on Pertem, uh, which was the the new planet. Difficulty hard. 80% oxygen, 1.2 G. Triton. Easy, 1 G. Moon, hard. Alien, normal. Earth-like, easy. Okay, but we're going with the uh, Pertum. Little heavier G's, good oxygen. Um, and we're falling. Oh, good, we have time. Um, okay, I was like, why am I not able to look around? Okay, there's the ground. Okay. All right. So let 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 me look around. Yeah, I'm in the middle of the desert. So, my plan is going to be to try and convert this pod into a vehicle. And go that way. So, uh, I think I'm going to end this episode here. We've landed. We've got a new start. And that's actually a pretty good uh, screenshot right there. Oh, God. Steam, what is my screenshot button on this computer? Uh, interface. Uh, Keypad plus. Okay. There we go. What is going on? Oh dear. No? I still have that. What went wrong on my keyboard? Why can I not move? Did my keyboard really just crap out on me? Uh. 
Oh well. Let me save. All right, there we go. I'm back. So, uh, apparently by alt-tabbing, I broke the keyboard to where it wouldn't work. But, yeah, uh, I like that screenshot. I hope you all have enjoyed this, and I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, bye bye